It's been 30 years since allegations of child molestation at a Manhattan Beach preschool shocked the country. Tonight, key people in the McMartin daycare abuse case talk to CBS2 about what's happened in the years since. There is just a lot of damage done. It was September 1983 when a letter from the Manhattan Beach Police Department to parents of the McMartin preschool sent shockwaves through the community. Yeah, that can't be undone. Based on an allegation of child sex molestation and the arrest of a McMartin preschool teacher, the letter asks parents to investigate if their child has been a victim. It mentions sex, fondling, and says photos may have been taken of children without clothing, and all possibly under the pretense of taking the child's temperature. Perhaps it started as a, a, a misreading of an innocent act. Danny Davis represented Ray Bucky, who was tried with his mother, Peggy. They would eventually be charged with 65 counts of child molestation of the preschool students. I have no doubt that Raymond Bucky and others molested my children. The trial would become what many claim to be the longest, most expensive criminal trial in U.S. history. Once the parents began to believe that there had been crimes committed, then the case got very heated. Kevin Cody, founder of The Easy Reader, a newspaper serving the Hermosa, Manhattan, and Redondo Beach communities, extensively covered the McMartin case. There isn't really no upside to this one. Leo Rubin was the lead prosecutor. The strongest evidence, the physical evidence, the medical evidence, I think was very significant. That evidence from the prosecution was photographs taken at the Children's Institute International, CII, that they believe showed trauma to the genital area. I've been working with sexually abused children for 13 years. Key McFarland, then the director of CII, examined and videotaped about 400 children using anatomically correct dolls. And I have never seen children as frightened as these children. But except for the CII doctors, none of the 124 witnesses called during the trial or 800 exhibits in court offered any corroborating evidence to support the prosecutor's allegations. I never did anything. My son didn't do anything, nor my mother, my daughter, or any of the teachers. I just can't imagine ever molesting a child. I'm not guilty, Your Honor. The trial dragged on for nearly three years. CII investigation methods, its suggestive and leading questions to children, its use of dolls would eventually be discredited. The jury finally began its deliberations. And in the end, Ray Bucky and his mother Peggy were acquitted. The case of People versus Raymond Bucky is hereby dismissed and the defendant is discharged. Thank you. What did you say to uh, the families of the children? Did you speak to them when it was over? Oh, of course I did. Um, they, they were pretty distraught. As for lead prosecutor Leo Rubin's thoughts on the defendant's innocence or guilt? I'm not comfortable commenting on any of them at this point in time. But Davis says about his client, Ray Bucky. He was singly the most heroic client I've ever defended. Not only because he was innocent, but he endured it with a quiet wisdom. Rubin reflects on the many changes that came about as the result of the McMartin trial. Changes affecting criminal cases across the country. The criminal justice system, interviewers and police, law enforcement are much more concerned about eliciting information from children as opposed to giving them clues. In the years since the case, there is a positive update on the children involved in the trial, now adults in their mid-30s. The children are doing great. Very happy, well-adjusted people. But even now, questions still linger. And I say, you know, do you have an independent recollection of being abused? No. Do you think you're abused? Yes. You know, I, I've asked several times, you know, are you interested in talking about this? They say no, and I say, okay, let's not talk about it. Since the McMartin trial, new protocols have been developed. CII is still in business, providing children's treatment services in the Los Angeles community, but they no longer provide children interview services, medical exams, or make any determinations of abuse. We attempted to reach Ray Bucky for comment, but were unable to locate him.